relationship that the worker has now with the corporation, and, and, and it's an unnatural relationship, and it's a relationship that seems to have, like, dehumanized people to the point of being automatons that don't have a sex drive, that don't deserve to be able to explore their consciousness. And um, this is a, a, a real uh, problem. And, uh, Do you know what Ari told me? What? You know, Ari studied the Talmud and did, did it for like 12 hours a day when he was a young, yeah. young man. Yeah. He told me that there was one passage where in one of the ancient texts where it was talking about battling a dragon. And he said, he's like, this doesn't make sense because everything in here is supposed to be a story that actually happened. Like, what is this dragon? Oh, the dragon is a metaphor for masturbation, they tell him. <laughs> So the dragon that takes away young boys, this is, it is, uh, it is a metaphor for masturbation. Did that you talk is... about this on the podcast? Yes. Dude, it's, it's, you know, Ari knows about as much as anyone you're ever going to meet about Orthodox Jewish traditions and the, the you know, the, oh, yeah. the religion and the, the text. He really did study that shit every day, 12 hours a day for years. I know, in Israel, right? Yeah, yeah. So when he tells you about it, and you know he got the tra he got the actual translation of the metaphor, yeah, from a guy who's a scholar. Yeah, like, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's a, a bad it's metaphor. A that's like I think like if I wanted for whatever reason to dissuade people from jerking off, I could come up with a way better like thing than a dragon to represent it. You know, yeah. there'd be some other thing like a I don't know, man. Like a, a what's like a. What what would be like the creature version of a rolled up ball of dried cum that you've thrown next to your bed and someone walks into your bedroom and sees the rolled up ball of dried cum Kleenex and it's just kind of like, that's gross. You didn't clean up your cum Kleenex. It would be like one of them Ghostbuster villains. Right. Like some sort of plasma thing that just jizzes all over you. Yeah. You know, they'd get Ghostbustered. What do you think about the anti-fat movement? Anti-fat movement? FAP, F-A-P. Oh, no no jerking off? Yeah. Um, no I, FAP, not anti-FAP. Anti-FAP's no fap. a different movement. Well, there's good and bad. The good thing is sex will be way more pleasurable. The bad is it'll be way more desirable. So, like, to, to mitigate your sexual urges so you don't do stupid things and hang out with stupid people right. and have sex with people you don't really like but you think are hot because you're horny yeah. and they're willing... Which is a lot of people. They get they get roped up in these relationships yeah. with these uh, guys and gals that they're not really in love with. Yeah. But they like to fuck. Right. You know. Um, you know, it's a good, like. What do you think about it? Well, like I think that there. You know what I what something I always think back on is when you were sponsored by Fleshlight. Mm hmm. And this is when we were doing the podcast from your house, and, I, and you'd come to do your podcast, and you'd walk away with a flashlight. <laughs> so I ended up with, like, I don't know, three or four flashlights. And, like, at first I just wanted, like, you had different types. And at first I just went for, like, oh, the one that looks like a pussy. <laughs> right? But then, like, you know, it's like, oh, I got that one. But then you had, like, one that was, like... I don't know, man, like some kind of like gargoyle alien thing. Alien thing. It was really Blue not. or something. It was really fucking weird, man. But anyway, you know, I fucked those things. And, <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and I, when I think back to it, it's like the first time I did it, it tricked my brain. Yeah. The second time or the third time I did it, it wasn't getting the same effect. Whereas when I have sex with a human, it's... A completely different it feels like it's a completely different series of chemicals that must be being released in my mind yeah you're uniting with someone you're bonding with someone you certainly get that oxytocin from orgasming together yeah that so, bonds people so I've always thought uh, generally like if I'm in a period in my life where I'm jerking off a lot it's like usually like there's something imbalanced in there. Like yeah. I don't mean to apply like a, a sin to it at all. I'm just saying like personally, yeah. it feels a little dissipative when you're doing it a lot. There, I, is this, I don't know. That's, no, I completely agree. It, but that's the balance. But the balance is also like you don't want to just be horny all the time. No, because when you're horny, you make shitty decisions. So you like yeah, you'll date someone just for sex. 
Yeah, well, you need to, like, I mean, I think that there is something to be said for figuring out how to uh, deal with, like, the, that kind of energy. Like, if you, so you, that's, an, that's an energetic state. Like, you, if suddenly you get, being horny is an energetic state. Yeah. It's energy. Like, if you're really horny and you sit and, like, watch the the feeling itself, it's electrical. Like you can feel it moving around in your body. It, it like, it can almost make you twitchy a little bit. Like it's like a very potent energetic state. So theoretically, instead of trying to get, the question would be rather, is there a way to release that energy that isn't through the tip of my dick in the form of DNA? Is there a way for me to release that energy in other ways or is the only way the only valve on that to come. That's a question. What do you think? I think there's when this natural buildup happens, it makes people more uh, easily aroused. It makes people more concentrating on sex. And I think that it, that can put you out of balance too. <clears throat> you can be put out of balance both by too much masturbation. You can definitely be put out of balance by too much desire for yeah. sex. Yeah. Because you're just horny. Sure. And you can just take care of it yourself and you'd be relieved. And then you could think clear. You know, I think the body needs a balance, right? That's why I'm a big proponent of exercise. 